Hello everybody, it is Melting Explodes Bloodily here, and I'm back with another game, because I tried to record an episode of something else, and my fucking game crashed. So, Crypt of the Necrodancer, a really fun rhythm-based roguelite game, uh, one of the only of its kind, and it's actually really fucking fun. Um, it's all about the hand-eye coordination. Um, it's not that hard to play, but you do need at least basic sense of hand-eye coordination. Also, I'm not I'm not amazing at this game. I'm actually pretty bad at it, so don't expect like top tier gameplay. Also, the soundtrack is amazing. Ballet shoes. I believe it's a stop moving keep multiplier. Basically, the whole point of this game is you have to move every time you're on a beat. Or else you lose your coin multiplier, and coins are like lifeblood of this game. You want as much money as you can humanely get. Because shops and items are very important in this game. The starting weapon is terrible. Wow, that. Top 10 saddest moments in anime history, what the fuck, oh jeez, hold on, oh, oh god, oh, oh, wait, 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 there we go, hold on, hold on, I gotta fix this, bada bing, okay, there we go, alright, we're, my hand got like way off, I was very uncomfortable for a minute, alright. Also, I like how the character's actions kind of fit in with the beat. It makes everything feel a bit more, uh, real. It's nice. That is the shop. There was a good item in there. Oh, had to scratch my eye. Alright. There we go. Alright. I've never been the best at Crypt of the Necro Dancer, but uh, I pride myself in being bad. I. I want to die a little bit. Only a little bit. Ah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, boys. Yep. Look, look how good I am. Holy shit, look how good I am. Also, you have to learn enemy patterns. It's cheaper shops, the Ring of Charisma. That's actually pretty... Oh, wait, hold on. I, I hit the wrong fucking... Is it a blood shop? It is a blood shop. Oh boy. Alright, boys. <laughs> I just sacrificed like all my HP, but now I'm OP. Let's do it, boys. Also, I see a diamond over here. Fuck the shop, the shop ain't got shit on that spear I just got. So basically each weapon gives you a new modifier. Since I have a spear, I have slightly longer range, so instead of having to stand right next to the enemy, I can be uh, an extra tile away from their usual hitbox. And I looked away from the screen for a minute, that's my fault. That was actually the boss too. Well not the boss of it was the boss of this level, not of the stage. Also, this crown of thorns is amazing. Checking to see if there are any uh, hidden enemies in the wall. Alright, probably not. So we can get out of here. 
Now you guys can hear the next soundtrack in the game. I actually like the pickaxe. Oh, that's not strong enough. Nah. Basically, that shop was just pay to use a shrine, but those weren't even weren't even good shrines, so. This game has really good music. I would recommend like even if you even if you're not into like the game itself, listen to the soundtrack. Just like look it up on YouTube or something. Especially the uh, the DLC soundtrack because there is a DLC for this game. It's actually uh, pretty good from what I've heard. Lose items, gain health. Nah. I've never actually defeated the red dragon before. Holy shit, we're making leaps and bounds, boys. Honestly, in my opinion, all you need to have a good run in this game is really good weapons and really good rhythm sense. Sunglasses, I don't even like them. I haven't been here in so long, I actually forgot what the soundtrack was. Uh, I can't break gold walls. I... So we need a bomb to get into the shop. Yeah, okay, so that's another thing I forgot to mention. When a, uh, when a monkey attacks you, it doesn't actually... What? What? I... When a monkey attacks you, it doesn't actually do damage. Kill to heal. Wait, what? Kill to heal, low health equals more damage. Okay. I might actually take that. That's actually... Because I believe it's infinite range. And it's on, like, the same... Uh... I love this, holy shit, this is amazing. Now I can pull off some like CSGO level no scopes, look at this shit. I fucking... That is one problem, when you miss a beat you will lose everything. Oh yeah, there are also like traps on the floor that do different things. That one was a tempo down, so I don't know if you could fucking hear it, but the music just got like satanic. Oh, the boss. Death metal. Death metal. Oh god, this is... Oh god. <laughs> oh god, how do I fight him? I did it! Wow! And now we get a cutscene! Nice! He's always coming and going on his adventures. But this time he seemed more excited. And this time, he there's actually a story it, for this game. A great treasure. When I was older, I found the notes he left behind. Directions to a graveyard. 
Uncle Eli tried to stop me. But Dad had been gone for two years. I had to find him. God, that's when the anime plot. Let's do it. All right, time for the second floor, which has also really good music. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but there are a lot of uh, white skeletons with shields. Yeah, that's like the most common enemy in this area. They're not dangerous, they're just kind of annoying. Oh yeah, I forgot. These guys you actually have to kill from the side. Yeah, depending on how high tier the skeleton is. Yep, I knew that was a mimic because I saw it like... Vibrating. We actually really want to get to a shop because we have a lot of money. Man, I really like the soundtrack here. I don't get to hear it often because I fucking suck at this game. Honestly, I think I just found my new favorite weapon. I love the blood bow. It's like the best weapon in the game. Poor skeleton. Oh no, it's a nightmare. Get it? Because a female horse is called a mare, and it's made out of darkness. Oh my god, I am fucking this beat up royally. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot the shopkeeper does that. Let's grab a torch, because we don't have one yet. And then, just armor. Ooh, actually, no. I want my crown of thorns. Basically, I just paid for three bombs, because that, that helmet actually does give out a pretty good chunk of bomb. Alright, let's do it. Ooh, that is one boom bast oh, never mind. Alright, one more. One more for the road. No matter how bad this run goes, it will be the last one. Blood? Yes. Give me that blood bow. All right. Gotcha. I had to conversate with a human being, boys. This is... Uh, and when I say this game is difficult, it's not just because I'm bad. It's literally just because this game is actually hard. Basically, I have a golden weapon, and golden weapons, the way they work is uh, every time you like kill an enemy and step on the pile of gold they drop um that pile of gold the next hit you do will do 99 damage which is more damage than any enemy has health in the game so basically it's like you're supposed to make like really big one shot strings so it's like right here if i kill this slime and then step right here up oh, never mind the whip has a really weird hitbox it has a really long hitbox Yeah, and it can hit people around corners, so it's kind of wonky. It's a good weapon, it's just really odd. I, I really do enjoy this game. Like, it is really fun. Alright, boys, well... <laughs> <laughs> That's the last run I do for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed. I actually really do like playing this game. It's really fun. It's just really difficult. Um, I would recommend buying it. I believe it's only like 10 bucks. No, 12. I got it on discount. Yeah, yeah, I got it on discount because it was like 5 bucks and I bought it. But anyway, I'll leave the down not download because you have to pay for it. Nothing is free in this world. <laughs> I will leave the Steam Shop link in the description if you guys want to play it really fun game I would recommend buying it just like I recommend every other game on this channel so with that out of the way 
thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I enjoyed making it for you. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. It was me, Mouse Explodes Bloodily, and I'm out of here.